How's it going guys? This is Matt with Downrange Firearms Training. Uh, today we're going to do a quick little video on how to upgrade your pistol sights. It's kind of going to expand upon a blog that I had recently wrote for Jeff down at traintocarry.com. Alright guys, so like I said, this video is to supplement the blog that I recently wrote for Jeff at traintocarry.com. Um, the point of the article was talking about how some people view night sights as sights that you can shoot your target in the dark with. Uh, we all know that one of the main rules of firearm safety is that if you cannot see your target, you should not be engaging. So today we're going to talk about a little bit different kind of sight setup uh, aside from night sights. What we have here are a set of 10.8 rear sights on my Smith & Wesson M&P. Uh, the rear sights are ledged or stepped. And if you want, you can refer to one of the videos that Ian did for us talking about how to do a one-handed reload thanks to your ledge sights. So with these sights, what they provide me with is a firm base in order to rack my gun off my holster, off my belt, or some other implement if I need to during, during a one-handed reload. Up front, we've got a Novak high-vis fiber optic sight. Uh, it's very sturdy, very rigid. I run a bunch of different classes with this setup. A lot of people are worried about how fragile the front sight actually is. Like I said, I've taken this pistol to a bunch of different training classes, run a bunch of rounds through it, gotten the gun pretty hot, hasn't melted, hasn't fallen off, hasn't broken off. If that were to happen, the good part with the Novak sight, it does have a metal tray that houses that fiber optic sight. So, if for some reason you did run your pistol hard enough that that fiber optic sight broke up, you still have that metal front sight right there, which can align perfectly and give you the normal notch and blade setup in alignment with your rear sights. Alright guys, one of the main reasons why I like this setup on my defensive pistol is the fact that it doesn't interfere with the normal notch and blade sight that you would see on a normal everyday carry pistol, like a Glock, like an M&P, like a Springfield XD. Um, with the step rear sight, it does provide us with a little U-notch right here, and with the high-vis fiber optic, we tuck that right inside there, again, not messing with our normal sight alignment, sight picture that we like to have. The beauty of the high-vis fiber optic sight is it provides a great contrast against a dark background. Most of the targets that we're shooting at, your NRA slow fire target does have a back, a black background. Uh, so that will provide great visibility in contrast with the steel rear sights, uh, which is awesome. But the 10-8 sight is the fact that it's actually serrated, so it does cut down on the sun's glare on the back sight. Because of the contrast and the light gathering capability of the fiber optic sight, it's great for low light shooting and shooting against a darker target in the middle of the day. Guys, don't forget, for more informative videos, check us out on the web, drftraining.com. And always remember, only hits count.